so during the penetration test, uh, we usually use payload like you know script alert script to exploit or check for the cross site scripting kind of vulnerabilities. Now usually you would have seen uh, this doesn't work in a lot of modern applications uh, because of so many reasons we have talked in the past and, and mainly those are uh, they have a WAF, a WAF application firewall in place which is blocking some of the payloads. Uh, the, uh, the the framework that they're using, uh, like a front-end JavaScript, it also has like you know some libraries which is filtering or escaping some of these dangerous characters, or maybe perhaps the control is uh, developer itself have like you know used some kind of escaping techniques which blocks like a blacklisting blacklisting technique which blocks alert keyword or or some more dangerous uh, keywords. So, so in this video, I'm going to uh, teach you, uh, like you know, a step by step on how can we, uh, like you know, create our own payload and and probably try an error and, and see, uh, maybe one of this, like you know, uh, combination might be able to find us a bypass. And and this will not just be helpful in the penetration testing, but this will also be really helpful for the bug bounty if any of you guys are interested in. So, uh, stay tuned. This will be a really like you know uh, hopefully very uh, knowledgeable video for all of us uh, now before we go further uh, please hit the like button if you like content on this video it doesn't take more than a second so please do and provide your feedback via comment section so I know what kind of uh, like you know topics and, and content you guys are interested in so I can plan my future videos accordingly now let's get back to the video so these are like you know two very common payloads uh, which I probably used in the past and also I know a lot of people uses this uh, uh, so what I'm going to do is we are going to try and see what are the other ways we can like you know uh, bypass this or, or represent this to our browser or, or to the system so we can able to execute our payload and whatever techniques I'm going to show you today is not only going to apply for this alert, uh, but this is the like you know just an example that I've taken. But you can use this technique to uh, like you know craft any other payload uh, that you would like. So uh, first off, let's uh, like you know put this empty string and assuming this is always going to be there. Now instead of alert, let's say this one does not go through. What are the things you can do? So here you can see I have this website up which is called Unicode Lookup. So the first technique we are going to try is we are going to call it as Unicode Escape. And how is that going to work is first let's look up letter A here. Uh, it's right here. And let's take a look at what is the value uh, for Unicode. Uh, like, you know, and, and remember this is octal, decimal, hex and HTML, right? So for letter A, it's 0x61. Now, how do we write this one? So first off, if we are going to use the Unicode, uh, first you need to do the uh, backslash. Then you write 0. You have a 0x, that means you need to write 20 for sure. And then you have the 61 as your value, right? And then you can write lert1 and then put this string. Uh, like. Uh, round bracket and that's one way to represent this now of course uh, what we can do is we can take this let's say and put this in so instead of just a now we can repeat this for all the other letters so uh, let's say for everything we need to write of course u and zero zero will be standard right so next one is letter L. L is 6C. So we are going to write 6C. Then again, do the uh, uh, forward slash. Again, we are going to do U00. Then letter E. E is right here, which is 65. So let's do this again. Unicode 00. Next, sir, we are going to try with the letter R, which is 72. And again, do the 00, zero and then the final letter is T, which is 74. All right, so this is how you can also represent the same string, which is here, alert uh, in this Unicode string, and, and that might be able to like you know help you with the bypass. So that's one way of doing it. 
Now the other way we can do it is uh, we have used previously uh, like you know eval like a native uh, that's one of the native function. Now again this is not the only so for example how do you typically write eval is you will have alert and then uh, you will do this Oops. and then you close the bracket and then right this is how we have used uh, previously so now instead of uh, like eval is just one example now you don't have to use eval uh, because this might also be blocked on by many filters and WAF so instead of eval you can also use other uh, native functions but in our example because we, I just want to show you the techniques and rather than like you know just giving you payloads directly so you can play around and, and you can also try create your own payloads using this technique so what we can do is let's copy and paste now instead of here eval we can do the same thing we can copy this 61 right or you can again uh, another thing we can do is simply copy this and then copy this and replace with here this could also become your another payload so these are uh, like in a unicode and native function examples now let's go even further why we only want to restrict ourselves to unicode we can also use other techniques like we can use hacks and octal as you can see we have like you know all the information here so let's suppose this is another payload which we are heavily using to exploit the cross-site scripting vulnerabilities now how do we bypass this so uh, first thing uh, let me copy this and instead of uh, a we can of course use our normal unicode right escape which we have used so this could be one of the way we can do that you can also replace all the other characters as well if you wish or we can also uh, sorry let me copy this or we can also use like an octal version of this one so instead of this what I'm going to type so if you see this one letter a do, 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 here it's one for one right so here what I'm going to do always use this forward slash I'm going to one, one, one for one and alert so that will become represent a and then our rest of the letters and like this so that one is the octal variation of how you can craft another payload of course you can then go ahead and do this for all the characters I'm not going to uh, do this one by one just for the sake of time but yeah you can you get the idea that how you can create a uh, new payloads or octal payloads now let's try instead of octal here let's try the hexadecimal so how do you represent that one this is the hexadecimal so what you need to do instead of that you just need to do x61 right and that will become your hexadecimal payload so now that this this is becoming you know much more easier the only I think uh, uh, thing which we may have forgotten here is use the eval function but anyway um, I think yeah you can also do it with the eval function here uh, what I can also do is okay. Let me copy and paste and do one more variant here. So here, after uh, this on error, what you can also include is eval, right? And then you can have another single code, and then you can also close this one. So now you can also evaluate this statement, right? Because maybe alert as if as is like might not execute. So you can add eval, be sure to include like, you know, a uh, single quote. Uh, that's how uh, syntax of the eval is. So make sure you do that. And now let's take a look at one more variant. And this is uh, what we are going to do is we are going to do mixture of everything. So now instead of E, let's also look it up. What's the Unicode value? That's six five. So let's do this. Use zero zero six five. Now you can convert le rest of this uh, letters as well. Now let's get to the alert. Uh, first off, uh, let's see the octal value here, so which is which we have seen one for one. So now 
for L instead of using uh, octal as well let's try to use to do where is uh, yeah this one let's use the either hex or unicode so here let's use 6c right now we need to go to letter e here we are going to use let's use to do, do okay let's use html this time right that will be quite innovative i guess so here we are going to do ampersand we're going to 101 right that's what it is all right good uh next one is letter r let's find letter r here uh which one do you want to use let's use uh hexadecimal here but in a different way so what we are going to do it do here is we are going to oops oh wait i think i messed up okay yeah we are going to start with the pound then we are going to x for hexadecimal and then letter 72 which represents the letter r here right as you can see now the final one t is something you can use any of the technique i guess we have used everything else but yeah you can use whatever techniques you want even you can also transform number one uh, and that way it becomes like you know completely uh, different payload so these are I guess different techniques which you can use and try uh, to see like how you can execute uh, you can take a screenshot of this and then maybe like an improvise on this and and try different combination I think that will be that will be really really great um, uh, let me know if there are other combinations that you would like to learn or you have uh, other combination that you want to share uh, with us I think that will be also useful uh, but I think yeah, that's about it. Uh, please do not forget to hit the like button if you enjoy watching this content. And I'll all see you guys next week. Bye.